Dr. Geradjulu Mahotsi, together with Michelle Jube, offered the Venture Philanthropy Masterclass. I actually qualified, I did economics in, in university, right? And me coming from the business industry, I saw an opportunity to bring all of those business skills into the nonprofit space so that they can be more impactful in the wonderful things that they were doing. This is the NGO world, this is the business world, and this is me in between, trying to use those business techniques to make our social work more impactful, efficient, and effective. I wanted to know, what process do they follow in the first place? What planning goes into there? What tools do they use and techniques do they use to plan their response? Because you don't, there's a saying that says, fools rush in where angels fear to trade. This world is far beyond that donor dependency. Donors are not there anymore. We need to find other ways to make that revenue and we need to make every dollar count. So you still need to fundraise, but now you're not looking for, you want to attract uh, similar thinking uh, people to be able to invest in your venture. So how can you go about structuring that? You have to be strategic in every move that you make and people like uh, Bill and Melinda Gates and a lot of the venture philanthropists, all of them started off as entrepreneurs. So they understand business and they were very successful in business. So now they're doing philanthropy because they're successful, but guess what? They still apply those business principles in that philanthropy and they want to invest in things that show those business principles in that philanthropy. They understand data, they want to see the numbers, and that's what you need to pursue in venture philanthropy. So there's a social issue, there's a social cause that you're reporting, you apply those business principles and be able to measure the impact that has come um, out of that. Ordinarily, they go away for three months and do this whole program over three months in a different country. We tried something different, one month in country and two months uh, back home. So in the one month from what, when they came and from when they, they've left, I've seen a transformation really. They, there's this spark in their eyes. They are determined to make things happen. When they first came, they knew they need to leave their organization, but a lot of question marks of, uh, is it really the right time? But um, they are all determined that by the end of this year, those things are going to kick into place. So they, they got that push and encouragement within the short space of time, which is very encouraging for us.